Hi everyone, welcome to victoriapiking.com and woohoo, summer is here and grilling and barbecuing is starting now and I love this recipe, this is very simple uh, kebab recipe this is chicken breast with three kind of paprikas or peppers and it's amazing, very simple to make so I hope you enjoy the idea and stay tuned Let's start with chicken. I'm using chicken breast today and I cut them to those pieces. You know, long, uh, long and pretty thin pieces. I cut them diagonally to the chicken breast. I have eight of chicken breasts here. You can do a little bit less if you don't need so much. Now, to this I'm adding uh, kefir, actually. This is homemade kefir, but every yogurt will do. Greek yogurt will awesome be here. Next, I'm going to add apple cider vinegar. Now, you can add lime, lemon or anything. I don't know why I love with apple cider vinegar here. It gives a little bit more acidity, in my opinion, a little bit different flavor. So, apple cider vinegar goes in. Next, I'm using today three types of peppers. Chili pepper. A bit. I'm not going to overpower it because my son eating, but you can go higher and higher and make it more spicy. Sweet paprika. This gives awesome color, reddish color to all of this uh, thing. Again, I'm using a lot of it, but it's eight chicken breasts, so you have to remember that it's a lot of meat as well. And smoked paprika. I think three of those flavors makes amazing together. It's like truly, truly wonderful thing. Again, I'm adding a little bit of cinnamon. This is true dark cinnamon, but you can use any cinnamon you like. Just a pinch or so, not too much. Garlic powder. You can obviously add garlic, clove, just mince it in. Turmeric. You know, flavor, color and everything good and black pepper pink himalayan pink salt pink himalayan pink salt okay again pink salt himalayan one <laughs> really nice by the way you don't have to use those um, two of them you can use only one of them on or another I love to combine because they give a little bit different profile flavor profiles but you know do as you like if you don't have two don't worry use just one okay. and extra virgin olive oil not too much I'm adding just for a bit of you know flavor and mix this all together very well and set it aside obviously uh, now, I recommend do it overnight. If you can't do it overnight, you can really do it just uh, for a couple of hours or about like 45 minutes outside of the refrigerator it will be okay. Now, transfer it to very tight container. If you can do it as tight as possible, it will be better for the meat. It will soak all the juices way better and faster. So let's go to refrigerator now. Now let's prepare our skewers. I have here pieces and please skew them lengthwise, like so. So I'm going to do to all of the chicken or to the most of the chicken and see you later. Preheat your barbecue or um, grill for as much as you can higher the temperature tastier the meat and then lower the heat though i don't want to cook it to overly high heat all the time because it can be burned from outside and raw inside so the first time it's going to be very hot now it's uh, 550 and this point because you see it's just brand new and just open it 
take your onion and clean it. I love to do so to clean it and to give more flavor. Now let's add our skewers. By the way, you can leave the onion on top, it will give much more flavor and uh, After about six minutes, on one side, flip it to the other side. For another, I would say, at least six to eight minutes. And then you can start to try it. And frankly, it was a success, as you see. And I can tell you, if you have leftovers for cold, it's awesome cold as well for salads or something like this so i hope you enjoyed the idea and don't forget to subscribe write me a comment thumbs up me and cheers victoria love you all see you next time please support my channel by visiting my shops the links are in description box below you will find the recipes for halloween holidays and just for fun we have kids books and game as well Thank you for uh, supporting me and my channel. Love you all. See you next time. Bye.